So when we do covalently bonded molecules, okay, when we have things that have covalent bonds, you can actually make double and triple bonds that are covalent, okay? Now you follow the exact same rules, all right? So nothing changes about the four steps. It's just more complicated and you might need to redraw your structure after you figure out where those electrons are going to bond, okay? So let's just jump right in and do some examples. All right, the oxygen that you breathe when you take a deep breath in, that is O2, right? O2 gas, oxygen gas. So I have two oxygens right here, okay? Oxygen is six across, so one, two, three, four, five, six, meaning he has six valence electrons. So six plus six, right? Two of them should have 12 valence electrons, but we'll just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six plus six, 12 valence to start with. So I better end with 12, all right? Now, connect the dots, put the most singles in the middle. Well, they both have two electrons. They have two singles that need to bond. So let's just pick a different color here. All right. Okay, you can rearrange them so that they are kind of facing each other and that the singles are towards the middle, right? Put those singles in the middle. And now I'm going to connect these guys. And I see these singles to connect, All right? So I've now made a double bond. I have two bonds between my oxygens, my singles bonded up, hooray. Now this looks stupid, right? Maybe I shouldn't say, it. this does not look nice, all right? And again, imagine you have two toddlers that are sharing things. You don't want them sharing, you know, off to their side. You want them sharing the electrons, sharing the trucks, whatever it is, in between them. So just redraw it so that it looks nice and that the electrons are actually in the middle to share, right? This is a puzzle and you're trying to figure out your puzzle pieces. So you have this oxygen with the four electrons, right? Two lone pairs, we'll be talking about that soon. And it's going to double bond to this oxygen with two lone pairs, all right? And you can check your work. Do I have 12 valence electrons still? One, two, three, four. 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hooray, that checks out. Does each oxygen uh, fulfill its octet rule? Well, ignore this oxygen and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. So this oxygen is stable. Ignore that guy and count up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. So this oxygen fulfills his octet rule, okay? So this is the proper covalent molecule structure, okay, for O2 gas. N2 is nitrogen gas, which is actually the majority of the atmosphere. Fun, fun fact. Okay, so N is right next to oxygen, right? So only five valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so if I was counting up my valence electrons, five plus five is 10, right? So I start with 10 valence electrons, I better end with 10 valence electrons, okay? And now I'm going to try and bond them together. So, all right, so if I have this lovely thing and I start to connect my singles, right? Singles connect, hooray, E harmony for elements, okay? Singles connect. I've got these wonky singles all the way over here. Okay, they're gonna connect, all right? Okay, perfect, and you can see that there's one, two, three bonds happening between my nitrogens, but this is a horrible way to draw it. So I'm going to redraw this. All right, so I need to show that this nitrogen here has one, two electrons. We'll worry about where these lone pairs go later, because technically they should be on the left-hand side, but. I would not mark you off for that. Okay, so it has two lone pairs and then it's going to bond one, two, three times. So a triple bond, one, two, three times to my other nitrogen, which also has a lone pair, right? Those two electrons. Don't forget to draw in those, those lone pairs because if I left them out, then I'm showing, yes, the nitrogen's bonded three times, but neither nitrogen would have their octet rule satisfied. 
right? Each nitrogen here would only have six valence electrons. They would be desperate trying to figure out how to get eight. Okay, so make sure you're showing those valence electrons, those lone pairs that didn't bond. They're still very important in the stability of your molecule, okay? All right, and now we just check our answer. So I started with 10 electrons. Do I end with 10? Well, one, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So hooray, started with 10, ended with 10. And then is the octet rule satisfied? Well, ignore this nitrogen, two, four, six, seven, eight. Ignore that nitrogen, two, four, six, seven, eight. So yes, octet rule is satisfied. Okay. Let's get slightly trickier and do carbon dioxide. We'll only do two more. Okay, so carbon dioxide. All right. So count up your valence electrons. Four from carbon, six, 12 from oxygen. So 12 plus four should be 16. Again, if you're not sure, just draw it out, right? Carbon should have four. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, my older dog is snoring in the background. One, two, three, four. And then two oxygens, which should have six across. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I do oxygen enough that I know that there's two lone pairs, okay? But you should draw it in a circle, okay? All right, so then you add it up. Four plus six is 10, plus another six is 16. All right, so start with 16 electrons. I drew out my Lewis star for each. I drew them circularly, and I'm going to put, you know, the, the one with the most singles in the middle because my single electrons are gonna bond. So if I'm looking, carbon has four singles, right? Four singles here. So carbon wants to make four bonds. This oxygen wants to make one, two bonds. It has two singles. This oxygen wants to make two bonds. It has two singles. So the guy with the most singles goes in the middle, carbon in the middle. One, two, three, four. Let's put an oxygen next to it. Okay. And you can see what's going to happen. I'm going to connect my singles. All right. We're making some bonds. All right. So these guys bonded and now this oxygen is going to go on the other side. Okay, and if you drew it like this, then you're gonna be connecting it all weird, right? These singles will connect and then uh, those singles will connect. It's okay if you're drawing it. Remember that this part is a puzzle. You're trying to figure out how these singles mix and match together. Now that you've done this, just redraw it so it looks nice and normal and not like this, okay? So you're gonna have an oxygen with one, two, three, four electrons double bonding to a carbon, right? I made two bonds to a carbon, so double bond to a carbon. This carbon has no lone pairs, right? Everything is just bonding up, so it has two bonds to this oxygen and one, two bonds to this oxygen. And then this guy has one, two, three, four electrons still around it, okay? Now this looks a lot, a lot nicer than this craziness, but this is you kind of showing your work, figuring out what the heck to do. All right, and now we check our work. So did I actually end with 16 electrons? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay, okay. And let's make sure our octet rules are satisfied. So ignore everything else. We'll check this oxygen, two, four, six, eight. Carbon has two, four, six, eight. And this section has two, four, six, eight. So everybody's happy and satisfied. Octet rules are correct, okay? This is the Lewis dot structure for it, All right? If I did H2CO, count up my valence, we'll just draw valence electrons. I can hear my daughter waking up from nap. So <laughs> we'll, we'll go speedy, all right? So one, two, that's six plus six is 12. All right, most singles in the middle. This carbon has four singles, so he goes in the middle. All right, then I have some options, right? I did that guy. Now I have some options. Do I pick hydrogen or oxygen? Pick the guy who has the next most singles. That's this guy. All right, connect your singles. Now, I've got these two hydrogens still to go. 
At the Eiffel Tower, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, and now redraw it so it doesn't look stupid. Hydrogen bonding to carbon, bonding to hydrogen, double bonding to oxygen. Okay. And we double check that there's 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And everybody is stable, but we'll just double check. Two for hydrogen, two for hydrogen, two, four, six, eight for carbon, two, four, six, eight for oxygen. Everybody's happy. I got to go get a daughter. Hopefully this makes sense. Just follow these same four rules. Nothing changes. It's just more confusing and you might need to redraw it. Good luck.